stopping distance. How close is too close? Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. Today, we're gonna cover stopping distance. How close is too close when you're riding on a road and you stop behind stop traffic? As you can see, this is probably three, maybe three and a half feet. Is that too close? Yeah, I think. What's the optimum stopping distance? For us, the answer is, the distance that gives you the best advantage of going around the vehicle if someone was coming up quick enough to rear end you. You're looking in your mirror and you see vehicles with that chain reaction, you need to be able to get around. There are some things that you need to evaluate your stopping distance. And for Cake and I, our stopping distance is normally one half to a full car length. A full car length for me. That way, when you're taking off, and it's not time for slow maneuvers. You want to take off at a speed to go around. But there's some things you need to be evaluating. We're going to cover that right now. As I stated before, there's some things that you need to be considering. You got to evaluate at which track do I want to stop in. Track one, two, or three. As I'm approaching stopped traffic, if this was a two-lane highway, traffic in one direction and coming back the other way, just waiting till the plane leave, then I need to evaluate if I stop in a number one track, is there enough room for me to go around this vehicle without going over into oncoming traffic? Center track, I could choose. If I stop in the third and the right track, I have to evaluate can I make it around this vehicle without running off the road? Which are the less of two evils? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get on the bike. We're gonna run through a couple of things. The way the bike is now, this is probably the distance that I would normally park. Or I would normally stop, shall I say. So some things to consider. This stopping distance thing is, is almost as bad as tailgating. When you're tailgating, you don't have enough room to go around a vehicle if it comes to a complete stop. When a vehicle at a complete stop, whether it's a stop sign, red light, it doesn't matter. You still need to make sure that you have enough maneuverability to go around the vehicle. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, I'm gonna jump on the bike and we're gonna demonstrate. And I'm not riding today, but because I'm in the car, I'm the car model today, okay? I'm just gonna model. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna run this demonstration. What I'm gonna do is get close on the car, shall I say. And at this, this is probably at three feet. So if I'm in this track, I can do this and maneuver around that car with my slow riding skills. But this is not the time you want to test your slow riding skills. This is the time you want to get out of the way. So let me back up a little bit. Right here, it's about five feet. I can do the exact same thing at five feet. But you also got to consider, what is this? What if they had multiple cars here? I would have to turn my wheel all the way to get around the car in front of me, risk running into a car on my left or my right side, which I'd rather, rather run into that car instead of having a vehicle hitting me from the rear. So let me back up. This here, it's about nine feet. And if I go a little further, this is about the distance of your average vehicle, which is about 14 feet. I know so because the lines are on the parking space. So as I'm coming up to this vehicle, I'm evaluating if I go to the right, would I run off the road? If I go to the left, would I run into oncoming traffic on a two-lane highway? Same thing on a multiple highway, a multiple lane street, where I go over this way and hit this car, go to the left and hit the car on the left, or just stay here and let a vehicle hit me. So I'm gonna turn around, make a U-turn, and show you what I'm evaluating as I'm coming up to the vehicle. Now as you're riding, nothing changes. 
when you're coming up to a stop, you want to come up to a nice, smooth, complete stop. Now you just kind of, I'm going to stop back here for a second. You're evaluating from back here. This is a huge distance. I'm evaluating where is my escape route. My escape route is the most important thing right now. For this purpose, I'm just going to stay in the right track or the number three track. One, two, and three. And as I'm coming up, I still want to come to a nice, smooth stop. Rear brake, smooth stop. I'm stopped right now, and I'm looking at, okay, now a car is coming from behind. What do I need to do to get around that vehicle? So I'll just pick it up a little bit and go around the vehicle without much thought. I don't have to worry about slow riding because slow riding is not the time you want to practice friction zone when danger's coming up from behind. One more time, I'm gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna go to my right to show you if I was in traffic and there's vehicles here and another vehicle is coming from behind, I would have to maneuver around this. So, but who sits in traffic with their <laughs> wheel turn? No one. So there's some things I have to think about. Okay, I'm looking, I see that chain reaction coming from behind me traffic coming and I'm saying wow I'm about, I'm about to get hit so now I have to maneuver a little bit more to go around that vehicle so it's best to stay far back as possible the closer you are the more you increase the danger the further you are from the vehicle in front of you the less of a danger one more time I may exaggerate how far you can park now this isn't a time to worry about vehicles behind you honking their horns. But another consideration would be if you park so far like this distance, then vehicles in the opposite lane may want to get in front and all of a sudden they're cutting you off. At this distance, I really don't have to do much. All I have to do is go straight at a fast pace and tilt and go around this vehicle. At a closer distance, obviously you have to tilt the wheel. At a farther distance, you can just go straight and go around the vehicles. So that's all we have for today. So watch your stopping distance. Make sure that you have enough room to escape the vehicle in front of you when danger is approaching from the rear. Until then, if you are riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. The supercar model. <laughs> and we out. Peace.